have you re- ever really wondered what the different signs of horoscopes and zodiac signs are actually prevalent in manifesting our life if we look from the month of january the capricorn energy brings a lot of principles in us ingrains a lot of desires in us of what we shouldn't do rather what we should do we are more territorial we are more possessive and we are more stubborn about not really going out of our comfort zone even if that takes us to take a stand for ourselves then as we ascend towards the aquarius energy we go more wild and we start focusing on ourselves and we start manifesting our desires by the propensity of our zeal and after the aquarius energy has set down and the exasperation of the aquarius energy has swifted into that of pisces uh rather egocentrism comes in and we again get back to a reflux of fighting our ego over supporting what our ego really desires or needs with that energy of pisces of forbidding what we really need and engulfing what we do not need but engulfing due to ego causes a lot of rift and further shatters us down which transcend us to the aries like energy where we are stubborn where we will not really break down from our point of support where we are continuously hinting on what can boost up our ego and nothing else however with the taurus shift coming in we can no longer help ourselves we somewhere deep down move into a energy of finding back our journey into love when we are again obsessed and again clinging and again writing verses of love which we had held on to in the month of march and in the month of april with pisces and the aries combination of energy but with the taurus energy coming in we can no longer control that but we rather keep blabbering out our emotions and an emotional growth upliftment forms in us and then we have the gemini energy shifting in and as the gemini energy shift in we obviously undergo duality we undergo mood swings we undergo very many other commitments and we really perplex ourselves with a lot of options that we design in our theater and then we hog on them and then we really feel dissipated and confused and then with the cancer water energy flowing in we cool down and we soothe down somewhere deep down and that has a more vigorous effect as we are flowing with the cancer energy we come we become more or less formless with the cancer energy and our emotion starts being exhibited out and we start repressing as well as expressing at a more or less considerably balanced state but as we know water is formless and it takes the form of anything where you keep it in so for july energy however we treat uh, we are treated we treat back in an equal way more or less after the june energy has settled down a little and after the july energy has also settled down then comes the vigorous claiming season of leo energy of august when we can no longer hold on when we are claiming we are mad we are manifesting our thoughts vigorously and we just want it to happen we just get desperate somewhere deep down with the energy transcending in but the energy after the leo to virgo transformation is more vigorous because the leo to the tamed virgo energy that it propels causes a lot of rifts and usually dissolution and these changes of dissolution confusion actually makes us more innocent and we are like in a reflux where we are moving from a corner to another trying to understand and exhibit our thoughts and give a labeling to our understanding 
as we are in that reflux of not understanding anything the libra energy setting with libra energy setting we experience a sense of balance coming in but there is no considerable power of balance under the end of the libra energy which is towards the end and then we somewhere feel a sort of commitment we sort of feel a balanced state but it still does not make much of a difference to us till the scorpion energy shift in with the scorpion energy shift in the dark hours increase our wildness increase our obsession increases and the reversal flow of energy begins because scorpion energy not only takes out all the darkest fears from us but also transcend us to a calm quiet phase of the sagittarius energy coming in because the sagittarius energy is happy go lucky sluggish easy going and in that easy going reflux with the dark energy are there begins the reflux of the divine masculine and feminine energy where the roles are interchanged and that is how the reversal policy takes place and that is how the energy transcends and as usual the cycle keeps repeating but the intensity is vigorous each time with the kind of exhibit experiences that has been exhibited by the months of zodiac energies so somewhere deep down we can conclude that the zodiac energies not only affect a person born under the zodiac but each month and each of the energies has a far reaching impact on all of us so more or less all the zodiac signs are important for us all the zodiac signs make a lot of difference information i gave you from there you can also find a close link and relation to how you behave in each month and actually you can combine and control this by good knowledge of the zodiac signs and understanding how the zodiac energies are affecting you and you can only do that by sticking to your soul self and not letting the outer prana energies affect you in a negative way of course you should let the positive impact come in because every year we come to a new form of understanding a new form of ascension process and every year we are maturing more towards a higher evolution process which is a gateway opening for the 2018 energy so for the past four years since 2014 so the extreme shifts magical reality will actually be opening properly from the 31st of december with the scorpion uh, with the capricorn energy completely manifesting a new shape for a new year so 11 january 2018 will be a very important day for everyone in this flame journey really focus on the messages that are there around you you should focus on the different signs and synchronicity you are seeing around you because they have all the answers you are searching for here and there and more importantly look within the real answer lies within you within your soul which is what invites in your body the easiest way to connect to your twin flame is to connect to your true subscribe and comment and i really would like to bring up more topics so i'd be really glad if you all could write down if any topic you all want me to cover and i'm sure you'll be loving this channel and giving information please thanks a lot i love you